we've been down this road uh, a few times uh, this year. Each time, it, it's not easy. Tonight marks the end of an era, the final show, the longest serving member of the greatest news team, Samantha B. It all started back in 2003. The Bush presidency was entering its terrible twos. The Iraq war was just starting. <laughs> so uh, we needed a correspondent. We looked in all the usual places, your liquor stores, your betting parlors, your, uh, <laughs> your methadone clinics. And uh, obviously, Google Maps was in its nascent stages. We took a wrong turn. We ended up in Canada. And uh, we found this, this, this just delightful, incredibly funny uh, person, Sam B. Uh, so we hit her in a trunk, and we raced back over the border, pursued <laughs> by Mounties. Canada had no idea what it was losing. Have you had a hot curl since you've been here? I have not. I just, you know, there's so much to do. I haven't gotten to do everything yet. I'd most definitely like to see Long Island seceded as its own state. A totally different group of people. What state could you beat up? Ireland. I don't think that counts. Oh, states, I'm sorry. Other states. <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like a retard now. Other states not in Europe. Staten Island. Other states. Oh, Canada. Canada, okay. None of these tools are sterile. Okay, well, neither is this. So let's go, get started. Can I call you back? My mom is in my room. She wants to talk to me about something. I'm Samantha B. And I watch The Five. It's the tale of a winsome blonde ingenue, Dana Perino. There's got to be a catch. <laughs> Could you make it snappy? I've got places to be. Seriously. OK, dripping wet balls. Ignore this. Baby's on fire again. Damn it. Yeah, two-timing monster. <laughs> One pill makes you larger. Let it ring! Well, I think a lot of the time it feels like a thankless job. People think our day ends at 3 o'clock, and that's not the case. We feel unappreciated. Gives men basically instant erection. It takes a little bit of doing. Oh, boy. Into OK, OK. Have you had your picture taken with a black person yet? Well, I don't think so, but I wouldn't mind doing it. That's something you'd be willing to try? Why, certainly. There's plenty of them. I know. Do you have any of them in Montana? We don't, you know? We don't have any. Uh, in fact, uh, I guess our kids were pretty old before they saw one. Here's a little, some, some Daily Show trivia. All of our, uh, our correspondents, Sam is only the third correspondent to ever get her face stuck in a pinch pump. Um, <laughs> but while she could always do the silly, the Sam pieces that I love the best were the ones that were closest to her heart. Sarah Palin took the stage and silenced her critics. But there's one issue for which she's still being unfairly attacked. It's very inappropriate that the Democrats have seized on the issue of Bristol's pregnancy. I think it's a family issue. You know, she's going to have the baby, she's going to get married. She said no, it's a human being. She made... The, I'm the sorry, decision. what is... She made the decision. The decision. The decision. The There's decision. another word I'm looking for. I think it rhymes with voice. Every family and every woman should have the right to... I'm sorry, what's the word I'm looking for? It's her family, it's her... Oh, God, what is the word? What is the word I'm looking for? It's like when you have a lot of options and you have to select one. What's the word I'm looking for? What is the word? Adoption is one. Um... No, there's a specific word I'm looking for. Yes, it, but I, I don't think that the... I don't think that the decision, I, I think it should be not, I think that the family decision would become uh, as how, yes, okay. A different choice? Choice, yes, exactly. Every family, every person should have the choice to decide what's best for them. You may see a 10 year old out there picking tobacco, but you won't see him there all day. I work 12 hours a day in the tobacco farm. Or sometimes a little bit longer. Okay, wow. You're making it very hard for me to ironically support child tobacco labor. The president says that he wants us to talk about race. So let's talk about race. You go first. I think it'd be great if you started off. I don't think it would be great at all. If you're scared, say you're scared. No, I'm not at all. I'm just incredibly comfortable. I know the percentage is so small, so small of a person becoming pregnant from a rape that it, I just don't even know if that's even in the equation because they say that percentage is just like almost impossible. Not impossible, but close. And there has been some cases. Yeah, about 
probably about 32,000 a year. Is it 32,000? Okay. Yeah. Okay. 32,000. Women in combat uh, positions are a threat to military cohesion. Uh, it's not clear that men can actually bond with women. Men join the infantry because they want to fight. Sorry, excuse me for one second. Oh, there. Okay. That feels much better. Sorry. Girls become women by getting older. Boys become men by accomplishing something, by proving something. Okay. Have you ever actually met a woman before? Several. Um, a woman who did not want to strangle you? The reverse happens as well, where, where homosexuals go out and find uh, straights to beat up. Really? Yeah. Are you sure about that? Hey! Watch out! I got a Christian! Guys! Damn it! It's like you can't even go on the radio anymore and condemn a whole subset of people to hell yes, without sure. getting some blowback. Well, when you put it that way, it does sound rather arrogant, myopic, narrow-minded, and bigoted. Good. Then I've done my job. <laughs>